Hello, collectors. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, more peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, so <clears throat> for a gentleman out there, my last read that I did, I picked up on the Eight of Pentacles, I mean the Eight of Swords to the Eight of Pentacles to the Five of Cups. Um, so you could be someone that is in like a company in a job position where you feel like you don't have anyone to talk to. You may feel alone. You may feel isolated. You're unable to express yourself maybe because you are aware of the people around you or something of that nature. Um, there's a reason why you are having that experience and I think it is for you to know what someone else went through. There is some type of experience either another masculine or a feminine may have had um, when you, I don't know if you started a company, started in a company, something of that nature. Um, and you may have came into known, come into known about the experience that person was having, but you chose to kind of look the other way and you didn't think it was, it was much of a big deal. Um, so you're going through that right now so you can understand exactly what that person went through. Um, also, I don't know if you have like some type of contract with this person as far as a universal contract, soul contract, or, or something like that with this person. This could also be someone you are trying to reach out to or you may want to reach out to in the future um, to kind of explain something to them, what happened, uh, what has been going on uh, with you and a group of people. But there's a reason why you are having this experience. There may be also someone around you. Uh, I pick up on like a queen of swords that puts herself out to be a queen of cups. Um, so that means she's a queen of cups reverse because she doesn't know how to embody that energy genuinely if she has to pre pretend to be it. What this woman has been doing behind the scenes is trying to destroy someone else because she's, she's trying to prove to you that whoever this other feminine energy is, is in balance. So she's been attacking this person, bullying this person with the help of her friends and strangers and co-workers so that someone can have some type of emotional outburst and say or do something that will sabotage them, sabotage them and have you seen them in a light that is not authentic um, because that energy is not being brought out in an authentic way. It is something that's being forced out. So it's that someone someone being, like a feminine, feminine energy being nonchalant doesn't really let a lot of things get to them. If something happens, they need to talk about it, talk about it. If something is upsetting them, yeah, they'll probably express their emotions that, you know, they're, they're upset about this, they have this to say or something, or they're just going to say what it is they have to say. Someone is trying to manipulate that into something where you see someone as being emotionally unstable, emotionally imbalanced. So they've been attacking someone's finances, uh, someone's uh, work opportunities, someone's connections, and they're just trying to keep someone in like a eight of swords energy, feeling rejected, feeling alone, feeling uh, just isolated and just really in a deplorable state so it's something someone in your immediate vicinity if you are still at this position there's someone in your immediate vicinity that has been doing this to another energy because they want you to see that person as unstable but it's not that the other person with a man or woman is unstable it's because people are tempering with this person behind the scenes trying to make them seem like what they what they are not they may have even hired someone to do a job and this person took some type of oath to keep going and to keep doing something. So if ever, I don't know if you're watching this person or you are aware of this other feminine energy, the one that's in the upright. If you're watching this person or it could be a masculine as well, I'm not sure on that. 
if you're watching this person, let's say, um, let's say you two work together and they change locations or something and you hear that they lost their temper or they did something, it's because people are fooling with them. If you are, if you're like in church with this person and they lose their temper, it's not something that's happening just because it's because people are tempering with this person. If you like watch content and you see like a content creator go from being like sweet to sour is because people are messing with them. There's something that's been set up to look like what it's not. So you may want to be cautious. But whatever experience you're having right now is for you to understand what someone went through. Um, if you started a company and someone started working for you or you started working at a company and somebody was there before you, they would have known what was about to take place for you. So maybe they would have tried to stay to kind of be your support system. And I don't know why this man or woman feel drawn to you uh, to assist you in a situation or to bring something to your awareness. But you will have overlooked it. And maybe because people told you that either a gentleman or a lady was problematic, but you didn't know it was all orchestrated the way things went about. Um, so someone may have probably tried to stay around just so that they could support you um, because they knew that there was some type of uh, obstacle that was coming up. I think also what I'm hearing is that there was some type of problem you and someone were supposed to tackle together, but they say you... <laughs> They're being petty this morning, huh? They said that you chicken out, like you decided to kind of just, I don't know if you accepted some type of bribery or you decided to focus on your work, which is fine. Uh, but while you were doing that, you pretended like you didn't know what was going on. You chose to turn your back on whoever was already assisting you or looking out for you. And you probably didn't know this person was looking out for you behind the scenes. And the people that were, I, I'm hearing talk, speaking ill to you of this other person or whatever. I don't know what this is. Um, they were the ones that were coming, that were like, I don't know what it is, like slendering you or something like that or bad mouthing you, trying to make you look some type of way. It's like there's some type of situation that was set up where you wasn't privy to what was really going on. So you may have looked at the genuine person as your enemy, and then you accepted the enemies as your friends. It's something like that. That's why you are in this predicament so that you can understand what someone went through and why it's important to listen to your intuition instead of... Because I think there is something where with the fool out here, there is something where the universe was telling you, like spirit or your ancestors were talking to you about a situation. But I think you may have chosen to dismiss your intuition. Um, you may have chosen to dismiss uh, your better judgment and you went along with something or you just acted like nothing was happening or you just pretended like, or you just decided it had nothing to do with you. But you had, I think they're saying a vintage. You had some type of advantage in the situation and you could have fixed something, but you chose not to. And that's why I think the universe is having you go through some type of experience. So when you come out of it, hopefully you never come across this situation again. But if you ever do in the future, you will know how to handle it the proper way so that you don't allow some type of mistreatment to go on, whether it's at church, school, work, or whatever, or some type of uh, bullying to go on because what you did was enable some type of some level of bullying. I'm not sure what the extent is with the eight of swords out here. That's very extensive. Um, if the ten of swords shows up out here, then I know it's something that was absolutely horrific. Um, it could have been something that was being turned into like a physical attack on someone because the eight of swords typically have to do with like mental uh manipulation mental conflict trying to isolate people in a mental way where it's like they think nobody is going to help them if they reach out for help so it's a lot of mind games and things like that and a lot of black magic when the ten of swords shows up that's when things are turning physical uh it's that people are actively planning to take someone out or to uh do someone something okay so you're going through that experience because of what it is how you handled that situation in the past the universe wanted you to experience 
um, what that person went through because you may have seen someone heard their story or they may have spoken to you about something and you're just like, what, well, really? Uh, because you, you overlooked something that like you were not supposed to overlook or you... You overlooked it in a way where it's like you dismissed what that person was feeling. Uh, and typically, the universe has a way of humbling us. It says since you don't take it serious, you don't understand what this person was going through, you don't understand the magnitude, we're going to put you through the same thing. So instead of either that gentleman or that lady uh, staying around to be like your support system, because you and someone may have had some type of genuine friendship off the bat with the fool out here. You two may have had some type of like instant connection or something friendship wise, right? Like a professional friendship. Uh, you two connected, but there's something that happened where all of a sudden someone or a group told you something and you went into this six of uh, this eight of swords. Energy, you may have even gone into a six of source energy where you was like, I want to move on because everyone is telling me something negative about you. So you more than likely started shutting someone out um, and just kind of acting like you didn't know what was going on. Um, but that's all it is. It's that you're experiencing something um, that someone else went to so you can see things from their perspective. You left them out in the cold when they extended a genuine friendship to you. Okay. Um there are quite a few people in your energy. I feel like you are the king of pentacles. I'm being guided to help out of a situation or to help you find your way out of a situation. There are a few people within your energy that are manipulating you. You may have even a whole organization um, manipulating you. Okay, they want you living in fear. But you're not afraid of anything they want you living in. Anxiety. Maybe you don't feel like you have any protection right now. Or maybe you feel like whoever you're going towards does not have protection right now. With the uh, Nine of Wands out in the reverse. Uh, you may feel like someone does not have protection. You may be feeling alone and isolated, feeling discouraged, not knowing which route to take and things like that. Uh, feeling like... Uh, uh, discombobulated and things like that. Like your emotions are all over the place because you may be finding the truth out. It's like you want to take some type of bold move forward, but there's something that's restricting you. I don't know if people are playing with your mental. So then when you're supposed to take action, you're pulling back because you're living in fear of something going wrong. And this is a lot of fear. We got the eight of swords with the nine of wands out here in the reverse. You're afraid of investing into someone i think um and uh it backfiring you do also have some type of fear about you investing into a group or working with a group in the past um and maybe you started working with them when you were not quite privy to what they were doing so maybe they told you they were doing one thing but they were actually doing something else um and the whole truth is coming out so these will be people that have been presenting themselves to be something that they are not. So you may have also invested in like some type of work with these people and now you're living in some type of uh, fearful mindset because you may be feeling like something is not going to be as abundant as you thought it would be. Uh, so you're having to cut your losses and move on, but you're very afraid to go towards the person that you want to work with. You may want to bring a contract towards someone. You may want to invest in someone's work, uh, come together with them to build something like a 10 of pentacles or something like that. I don't know what you invested in with these people or if they're wanting you to invest into them or they're wanting you to hold back from whoever uh, this is, I got the six, the two of cups with the six of cups. So this is someone that was absolutely genuine with you. The two of cups, six of cups, that's a genuine friendship, genuine connection to genuine people coming together. Uh, there's something about your mental. I don't know if you feel like someone thinks a little too highly of you or someone holds you, holds you in high regard. There's something where it's like spiritual people with this person showing up in the Six of Cups energy and the full energy. This is someone that's spiritual. So there's something where spiritual people, they typically tend to see the higher aspect of yourself. 
So even if you are like in an eight of swords energy, someone is going to see you for who you are on a spiritual level. Now, that does not mean that they're dismissing the truth that's there, but it's like they see you for you. Uh, so someone may see you and say, oh my gosh, you have a beautiful energy, but you may know that you do a lot of slimy things behind the scenes. You may know, and I'm not saying you specifically, I'm just saying hypothetically. You may know you do a lot of slimy things behind the scenes, a lot of sneaky things, but these are people with eyes to see what's not there, what's beneath the surface, right? Uh, most people you meet in life, they're very surface level. So what, what we spiritual people see is not what other people see. So that is why a lot of the time when we're talking, we may come across as we're mentally ill, um, which is what people typically tend to t say about us, that we're mentally ill, we're mentally unstable, we're delusional, uh, we're living uh, under some type of bridge or something. We need to come back to reality. A lot of people say that about us and we're quite accustomed to it and don't have a problem with it because we already know who we are. So you may not think highly of yourself, but I think someone holds you in a high regard and they're very, uh, like they, they, they have some level of respect for you. Um, but maybe you feel like you don't deserve it because, because of something you did to them in the past before you knew them. Um, I don't know if you misrepresented yourself, um, whatever this is, but you could be looking into something now, choosing to do the right thing, but you have people around you that are trying to manipulate you out of doing it. There's a queen of pentacles reversed around you that may be trying to seduce you. I don't know if this woman is obsessed with you to get something to go in her favor, to uh, have you give her some type of offer. I think what it is, she's, yeah, she is obsessed with you, wants to stop you from giving to someone else and having this new beginning in contract. Whether this is marriage, she does not want you having some type of communications with someone. Um, I don't know if this woman is like wanting you to sleep with her and then she thinks that's going to lead to some type of connection between the both of you and then she can coerce you into not investing into someone else or not giving a friendship to someone else. So there's a reason why a queen of pentacles reverse is so it be the uppity in your face and things like that. Uh, that's the truth coming out. And this is something you needed to know. She feels like if you and her get together, maybe have some type of uh, rendezvous that it's going to lead to some type of connection, Six of Cups connection between you and her, and she'll be able to manipulate you. Someone may be even trying to manipulate you now so that they can get you to not make some type of decision as far as giving to another energy. Like a woman is very obsessed with you and with the person that you want to give to. And I don't understand what this is, but she's very obsessed when it comes to dismantling you two's connection, destroying the connection between the two of you. And there's that queen of swords reverse behind the scenes that's helping her. They are all working together on this situation. Someone, I don't know if a group of people have lost their way, but something has gotten so malicious it's like they don't even remember who they used to be because they're just so determined to destroy another energy. And the other energy has done nothing to these people. It's like a lot of them came out, came together, created some type of narrative. The narrative cannot even stick. There's something you know does not even add up about the person they're talking to you about, that divine, either masculine or divine feminine. You know something does not add up and it doesn't add up for a reason. These people have been working really hard behind the scenes to destroy this person, okay? Um, really hard. They're very angry that this person keeps pushing forward regardless of all the losses that they've caused them when it comes to an Ace of Pentacles. Uh, them receiving some type of offer. They don't want you choosing this person or giving to this person, okay? You may be choosing to, to, be, uh, to act with integrity and things like that, but these people are bothered with that. It's like they're envious of someone receiving like an Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles kind of thing, Ace of Swords. Um, it's a lot of envy and jealousy. It's not because uh, someone did something to them. It is just because of pure jealousy. I don't know if there's like an inheritance or this is just you wanting to invest in someone. You think about someone a lot. You're figuring out how to move forward. You may be uh, coming out of some type of... Uh, mental imprisonment like you are going from being afraid feeling alone taking some type of bold step 
um, and coming towards someone to give them a friendship. And this is what these people are trying to block. Uh, there's something very personal and malicious. And it's not, again, like I said, it's not because the divine energy did anything to these people. It is just because of jealousy. It's because of greed. They don't want you investing in someone. Um, there's some type of relationship. I don't know if you're going through like a breakup or something of that nature. And it's been very hard on you. Or maybe you've been investing in the wrong person. And uh, you're finding out that you've been pouring into like an empty cup, an empty vessel or something. Whatever you were expecting to get out of your investments, you're not getting back when it comes to this person. I don't know what this is. You could be under some type of contract or trying to give a contract to someone so the both of you can work together. And people don't want you doing that. So you got to throw it with caution. Um, I'm not really sure how these people know exactly what it is you want to do. You could have been very open with them. And as I said, maybe you thought you were collaborating with these people, but it's turning out that you're not really collaborating with them. They've been collaborating against you. Um, so right now, what it is you want to do, you feel hesitant. You don't know, uh, like you feel discouraged. You don't know if you're going to have wish fulfillment. You don't know if you're going to be content. You don't know if someone is going to be, uh, is going to accept your offer. You don't know if someone's going to talk to you, curse you out and things like that. And I can tell you that whoever you're going to is none of those energy. They're not going to curse you out. They're not going to be angry with you. Uh, they may be disappointed in you for maybe how you handle a situation once you explain something to them. But I don't think someone is like a bitter, betty, uh, karmic, caring, negative Nancy or anything like that. I think what it is, is that it's going to be disappointed. It may be one of the situations where you're so afraid to talk to someone that uh, when you go to talk to them and... You're expecting them to be really angry and what they really do is just ask you like why would you do something like that to me um it's something like that but there's something where it's that people are doing something to make someone angry make a divine energy angry but it's not working so it's like because whatever they're doing is not working they're getting more and more angry behind the scenes it's like trying to piss someone off but because whatever you're doing is not pissing the person off it pisses you off so you start up in your antics and things like that so you start getting desperate and doing more uh malicious things to them okay but someone's strength has led them to their abundance and it's causing a tower or it is going to cause a tower for these people um but whatever it is you are <clears throat> uh whatever you have with these people you may want to i don't know if it's like cut your losses and move on or uh, Find your own mind because anybody around you in this company, because I saw that eight of pentacles in the pre in one of my previous reading where I saw the eight of swords to the eight of pentacles to the five of cups. You may have to cut your losses and move on because if you're done for the rest of your time, you're going to wake up feeling like you do today. Where it's like living in regret, living with remorse and things like that. Just feeling like you let yourself down. Like I could have had everything whether it's business or romance, I could have had everything with that person, but I didn't have enough strength to walk away from what didn't serve me. Um, there's something where it is that you don't realize that you're the one holding yourself in a karmic situation. Whatever you are afraid of doing the most is what you're going to have to do in order to free yourself because you're in that eight of swords. The eight of swords has to do with self-imprisonment. So you're the one holding yourself in whatever situation that you are in so on uh, as soon as you decide to free yourself from that situation you will find freedom it's something like that you're the one yeah you will find freedom you're the one holding yourself back in that situation okay you're afraid i think of losing finances you're afraid you are focusing on all of the wrong reasons for why you shouldn't leave a situation it's all about money and i think there's something about security with the eight of pentacles that typically has to do with security so you could be working a really good job um where it said uh, you're secure in life you get paid pretty well maybe you make six figures or whatever 10 figures i don't know um but it's that very reason 
that you are feeling confined, feeling restricted because you're worried about the money. I don't know if you want to, you don't want to have to start your life over. You could be someone very successful in life. It all has to do with your perspective. Um, but for if you decide to stay in this situation for the rest of your life, even if you're in this company or not in this company anymore, uh, there's something where it says if you don't fix something, you're going to be living with regret. It's kind of like also like, you know how sometimes in the movie, someone will want to have a uh, like a chance, whether it's work, whether it's business, whether it's uh, romantic, platonic, like they want to have an opportunity with someone, right? But they'll never take the initiative because they know that that person is, that you know someone better than the other people around you. But you, out of fear, decide not to reach out to them. And typically in the movie, what happens is because you're afraid of, I don't know, expressing your emotions or something like that. Uh, you don't want people to know that you like a specific person because everybody talks bad about that person. And not because there's anything wrong with that person. It's just because that's how those people are. But anyways, because you want to please your friends, your co-workers and families, uh, you don't want to be judged. You don't want to be criticized or something like that. You don't want to be ostracized, whatever it is. Basically worried about everybody else's opinion and validation instead of yours. You decide not to reach out to that person, not to connect with that person. But then that person goes on and becomes like a world-renowned person, right, for what it is they do. And you realize that you missed your chance on the kind of life that you've always wanted, now, mind you, do not come towards this person because you feel like they'll give you the life you want. If you don't genuinely care about someone, then don't come towards them. But with the two of cups to the uh, six of cups out here, it looks like something that is genuine. It's a genuine friendship. It's a genuine connection. <clears throat> it may even be something that goes back past lifetimes. With the six of cups, you may have very fond memories of this person. You think about them a lot. With the Six of Cups to the Seven of Pentacles, you think about this person a lot. You may be thinking about investing into them with the Seven of Pentacles out here. Uh, you may be remember, you may be having a lot of nostalgic memories of this person. Like you think about them a lot, and you're trying to figure out how to move forward. But I think it all has to do with your perspective and you being told also to listen to your intuition and take charge of this situation to go and balance something out with some type of communication. Be very logical about how you make this next next move. Because if you make the right move, it could lead to a Ten of Pentacles for you. Or maybe you are someone that already has a Ten of Pentacles, but you came out in the Eight of Pentacles in one of my readings. So maybe for you to make it to the Ten of Pentacles, you'll partner up with this person. They may have the skills. You got the money or something like that. You bring it together and a Ten of Pentacles is established. Now with the rest of the stuff, whether it's love or not, I don't really care to focus too much on the love aspect. Um, because people need to pay attention to the other things in life. A lot of us are always focused on love, 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 but we're not ready for that aspect of ourselves to be giving. Um, so just thread with caution as well. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You're taking some type of calculated risk, some type of bold move, um, when it comes to moving forward to give you some type of friendship, uh, you may be, I don't know if you, someone is trying to pay you to move on and keep collaborating with a group that you know is not good for you, uh, that is very deceiving and conniving. Like maybe someone is trying to pay, pay you to move on from this person. They're, they want you to walk away. And if you walk away from that person, it's going to lead to a tower for you. If you walk away from those people, it's going to cause so a tower for them. Uh, there's some type of realization going on as well when it comes to like a Queen of Cups. Um, there's a Queen of Cups that does a lot behind the scenes. And it's a Queen of Cups reversed in your energy. Someone's very manipulative. It's into a lot of dark magic. That's the Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups energy I picked up on. She's a Queen of Swords reversed but pretends to be a Queen of Cups upright. She's Queen of Queen of Swords reverse, Queen of Cups reverse. Into a lot of dark magic, a lot of manipulation, a lot of manipulative tactics to get what it is she wants out of you. I don't know if you partner up with this person or you think they're your friend. They're not your friend. 
someone is paid to be around you to get the scoop on you and pass it on to the rest of the group. So you need to thread with caution. You need to walk away. When you walk away, it's going to lead to a tower for this person that's doing a lot of manipulations behind the scenes. They're trying to hold on to you. There's some type of benefit that they get from being around you. The benefit may not come from you. It may come from someone else that's paying them to keep some type of facade going up. Um, but you may want to thread with caution. Someone is not your friend. Someone is not your friend. Someone gets, gathers information about you. Yeah. To pass it on to the group. I don't know what this is. Like I don't know if you, you don't realize that someone was hired to trap you. Someone was hired to manipulate you. Someone was hired. Okay. Uh, you may even have another person that's coming towards the Queen of Pentacles to try to trap them, lie to them, deceive them. Maybe very angry with this person for speaking their truth. Yeah, for speaking their truth. They're very angry at this person. Don't want this person to have a new beginning. So they're taking some type of reckless action to uh, try to destroy this person. It's like they've been doing something repeatedly over and over. It's some form of dark magic. They've been doing it over and over to this person. It's because it's, there is jealousy. It's like they know you are interested either in working with this person or being with this person. It's like the whole group is obsessed with the Queen of Pentacles. That's not in this environment is what I'm understanding because they're coming out separately. There's some type of distance between, because the Six of, six of uh, Swords is out here, there's some type of distance between the group and this queen of pentacles and the whole group is obsessed with this queen of pentacles meanwhile the queen of pentacles is minding her business it's like this woman who got nothing to do with these people but they don't know how to leave her alone and that's because they one are obsessed with this woman and two they don't want you giving to this woman um i don't know what kind of energy you used to be in or what kind of energy you are in but they are kind of baffled at the fact that you are interested in this woman either in a friendship romance or work okay and you're standing your ground she's standing her ground whatever connection this is between the two of you is protected um i don't know if you two are going to come together and execute something together and i'm not going to elaborate on that um but whatever connection this is it is protected really i think the ball is in your court whatever this is uh, someone's new beginning is being protected as well, whether it is with you or someone else. This woman is going to fulfill her dreams. It could be a man as well, since terror is energy is fluid in tarot. Uh, whoever this is, they're going to fulfill their purpose. They're going to live their life, a really fulfilling life. Um, because this is someone that's very strong and has overcome a lot of obstacles, went through a lot of losses, especially when it comes to abundance because of what a queen of cups, queen of swords, has been doing behind the scenes and this queen of swords is very worried about this woman receiving some type of contract and not and she not being able to hold on to what you so you're someone in the upright but like she's very worried about losing control or something but it doesn't belong to her you feel me it's like someone trying to have control of what does not belong to them and it doesn't make any sense like they're very obsessed with a feminine energy and they're very obsessed with you they're very obsessed with a divine contract and i and, and again this will be a divine contract that has to do with work manifesting an empire together you two don't got to be lovers you could just be two people that end up working together but these types of people when you hear contract they all of a sudden go to love like oh they're gonna fall in love they're gonna have babies it's gonna be more of them like, which, what is wrong with that? It's two good people, two maybe beautiful souls coming together with the two of cups to multiply. Um, but these kind of people, they're bothered by love. They don't want people falling in love. They're so, they're more so money focused. They're more so financially motivated. Okay. But destiny is playing out and things will go in your favor and that queen of pentacles upright favor. Okay. Yeah. This has to do with working together. You may be finding the truth out, maybe having some type of new opportunity as well. Maybe you want to give this person some type of opportunity in a company. I don't know what this is. Uh, people may be trying to figure out how to trap this queen of pentacles or how to bind her or something. Uh, and this is something where it's like 
I don't know. I, I'm hearing like the longer you take to do something, the worse a situation is going to keep getting. It's what I'm being told to tell you. You may end up losing this contract and having to cut your losses and move on because there's something that's much more urgent than I think you're picking up on and you're sitting there like a duck moving at a knight of cups energy so that means you're barely moving you're like uh, i'm on my way there the knight of cups they're not exactly slow but they're not fast either it's kind of like a you know you are not in a rush to something or to someone it's something like that it's a yeah yeah i'll get to it but that's the very energy that's keeping you in this imprisonment feel keeping you feeling trapped and it's prolonging some type of uh 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 karmic cycle that you have been over a long time ago but with the eight of swords out here you're someone that tend to stay in your mind a lot you kind of talk yourself out of things you look to the outside world the people around you to validate your actions and things like that and that's why you're in the predicament that you are in okay mm -hmm. i don't know if they're trying to send someone to come and lie to a queen of pentacles I don't even know. I'm hearing something about this woman has been protecting herself from a king of swords. There's something about a malicious king of swords behind the scenes. Uh, if you're a king of swords in the upright, obviously you know this is not you. But there's a king of swords that has been doing something to a queen of pentacles. And she's more than likely just taking action to protect herself from this person. Because this is someone that's a bit of a brute uh, that is very determined to block this person. This could be the person that made an oath, yeah, to stop someone from being able to move on, to block someone's investments and things like that. And this is the truth being exposed about all the lies, the deceit, blockages, manipulations about someone's work. Someone may have lied about what a queen of pentacles does. It's like telling people, oh, this woman does dark, dark magic. She does black magic. She sends curses on people. She does this. She does that. But it's coming out that this woman's work or man's work is actually legit. It's actually genuine. It has nothing to do with black magic. It has nothing to do with uh, putting curses on people. It has nothing to do with causing people blockages and stillness. This is actually what these people are doing, but they're refusing to face the truth. It's like they know what it is they're doing, but they rather keep lying and pretending like they're the ones in the upright. Whatever these people are doing is so unholy. I don't even think the devil will want to have anything to do with this. Like, something is very unholy. These are just a bunch of bullies that got together, a bunch of narcissists. Like, a lot of insecurities going on. It's a bunch of bullies that got together, came up with a narrative. They're trying to stick to the narrative and keep something going, but the truth is coming out about all the lies, the manipulations. They've been manipulating you the whole time. Or a community the whole time. It, it's someone. A queen of pentacles is very pissed off. I'm telling you. A queen of pentacles is very pissed off. That the truth is out about her. It's like. Why? She does not want the truth out. She does not want the truth out. It's like why? Angry as like She's obsessed. This woman is obsessed, very obsessed, mad as heck because the truth is out about what she's been doing, trying to force some type of partnership between you and her, but you're not interested. It's like you have your mind on a different queen of pentacles. And I don't know, again, if this has to do with work or, or finances or romance. The two of cups could be any of those or all of those in one. So whatever it is, the both of you will... Figure it out because I see the two of cups out here and the lovers. So this could be something that ends up turning into some type of romance. But there's a king of swords that was hired behind the scenes to keep blocking someone and keep bullying and tormenting someone. And he's still doing it. Uh, and he's planning on taking some type of reckless and impulsive actions to block the truth, block somebody's work, block somebody's options, whatever this is. And you're sitting there like a fine duck. Duck, excuse me, um, pre trying to pretend like you don't see what it is you see. I don't know how that works, but keep doing you. Uh, anyways, that is the read. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.